Hi everyone, it's Amy from Curious Papaya, and this is a support tutorial for my Highland Cow pattern. So to start off the hair, you're gonna insert your hook between rounds four and five in the upper right-hand corner. We will use surface stitching to achieve this, now, if you are using the same yarn that I prescribed in the materials, I went ahead and chained nine, and then I made a surface slip stitch in the next stitch over. However, you can do what I'm doing here, which is measuring the length and seeing if I like it, especially if you are modifying the pattern by using different materials, whether it is thinner or thicker yarn. So once you're happy with the length of one of the loopies, go ahead and make that slip stitch like I mentioned earlier, and we're gonna do the same thing. Chain nine again, or however many you decided works best for yours. And we are aiming for a total of five hair loops. It would be good to keep these hair loops symmetrical on the face, but also the hair of the Highland cow is meant to be kind of tussled, a little messy. I think that's really what adds to the cuteness of it. And I'm going to fast forward here to show you that I've completed my five hair loops and I've turned the entire body around. Now we're going to work the top layer of the hair loops. And I just made a surface slip stitch in a loop between rounds five and six, kind of slightly staggering the rows. Another tip you might find helpful is to fully expect that you might have to finagle your hook here a little bit. It is a little hard to make those surface slip stitches, but that's completely normal with this kind of yarn. So just work patiently, work slowly and carefully, and you should be just fine.